Super Valiant against Lazarus was pretty close. It was 10-4, 10-8. But then Super Valiant went up against Black Dragons where it was 10-5, 10-6. And I mean, that was impressive enough, but it hasn't been these runaway performances that I think some of the other teams getting might just boost their confidence even more. So maybe Q9 can take this real handily. Big cheers around here. The energy is hype in our studio. Both sides very hungry to get on to the finals. Our game has now loaded up. Super Valiant Gaming here in the south with the C4. Q9 in the north here to defend. So yeah. Super Valiant starting from the blacklist should be a good sign where they would love to go forward, have lots of B straight in rushes. But a pretty good response from Q9. They will actually take control over the warehouse for now. Yeah, and also that sideways passage is theirs. I mean, this is absolutely a great start for both teams. And we can see a very aggressive defensive push here from Q9. Mm -hmm. And Q9 being just stretching out all the way into that central passage after smoking out the tunnel side. Nice shots fired there from Q9. Uh, and it looks like it's going to be Super Valiant minimized. It's only two players left on K, very low on HP. The map is Q9s to pick and choose from as Mizen is the only player remaining here. And I don't think his future is going to be too bright as it is the first victory here for Q9. I mean, again, we see the standout players being Jaywei. They are playing phenomenally this tournament, and they are continuing to do that against more and more difficult opponents as we progress through this tournament. Great aggressive movements all the way into the sideway. After the boost, they continue to push to the loading dock, which is not too common, it's even from China. As is, they would love to go around the map, but this is one of the maps where it, where it becomes a lot tougher to back up your teammates, especially from GR. But Q9, starting with that aggressive push, I don't think Super Valiant expected that push to happen at the beginning. Yeah, it was a good twist here in, in what players would be anticipating. Again, they know each other's play styles very, very well here. Uh, we have Super Valiant Gaming here, controlling a little bit of mid, inching towards the A site. C4 kept far back in case they do need to retract and rotate towards B. Yeah, we see a little bit of a dance of death here between Solo and Anke. But Solo does decide to pull back. We have two on that central street, now three. And they are making their way through sideways over into A. With that nade into the side road, really, really hurt. Yeah, M's in there with the nade. Perfect nade shot on his face. On K and N9, itching to come out, but being here with the scope ready for a snipe. A quick invade, though, if they can run towards that high ground area, it's not going to be easy for Bean to see down there. Solo now rotating around as their instinct tells them. An attack is imminent, and here it comes now. Yes, yeah, Solo goes down instantly, but J-Way gets another kill. Bean gets M's in, 90-98 gets at 9 and it is all going. Q9's way as Bean gets another couple of kills. 98 does finish it off with DBQ. Q9 making it look easy as Super Valiant Gaming is shredded with a wave of bullets. This time around, we have a rush here with Super Valiant Gaming in the mid. Q9, 2-1-2 uh, two, two split here. Although I think they're going to go directly in the mid. They're not slowing down as this is smoke. They do gun down 1998. Where will they go from here? Yeah, they overwhelm 98 and they've overwhelmed Solo as well. And Q9 are already two down. But the comeback against Long gets a couple of kills and it's three versus two. Immediately, Long was able to recover. J-Way couldn't really deliver many shots from the warehouse, but Long might just be in a great position. I don't think he was spotted right there by Emzin. Nice but shot there by Emzin. He does manage to pick him off. It's now uh, just Bean remaining. It's not impossible. Bean at full HP, nearly. Um, We're still waiting for that C4 plant. Here it comes now. 40 seconds for some of the best play from Bean here. If he wins, it's a 3-0 in a disadvantageous position. This is Super Valiant Gaming's uh, position to lose. It is losable. It's not like they have four players, just two. Let's see exactly how Bean economizes his time. Mm -hmm. Picking up that M4 back into position. Can't really go in with that AWM alone on 2v1. Oh, instantly taken out as soon as the peak is there. And SV get their first win on the board in this match. I can't imagine that Q9 is too frustrated by that. I think Super Valiant um, handled that very well, and they were very patient. So Q9 holding Super Valiant Gaming's feet to the fire. 
Where exactly are they going to try to push here this time around? We have a more forward defensive position on B side here from Q9. Yeah, Zhao Wei again in a really good spawn. Just straight in, straight in, ran into the central passage with the smoke towards that mid bridge. Yeah, Super Valiant this time, they, wanted to, they want to just stay patient and wait for the time. Because it seems like Q9 is actually coming out for them. They can wait and look for those easier kills when they have the zone control. Yeah, Bean has complete sight down A long. He can see anything that goes in there and nothing is coming through. He throws a grenade over into the se into the sideways passage, but nothing going through. As we see, I think that's Anke having a couple of pot shots over a Bean. C4 is still tucked far in the back. Good rotations here by Super Valley and Gaming here. Both sides showing a lot of respect. No sweeping here from Q9 just yet. Although I think with C4 on DBQ up here towards the um, the B entry here near tunnels, we will probably see a push. Long is ready. Long actually backing around now. Flashed. JY will wait. On K about to come around the corner. More than half of our time has been spent. Couple of hits onto DBQ. He oh, does the take quite a bit of damage. Yeah, immediate rotation into that eight because the because SVG they had control over the sideway. I think they checked. Uh, Sniper is alone. It should be alone in a top. But look at how quick that offensive rotation is on Super Valley and everyone and their mothers were over in a long. But the C4 has rotated back. Bean does get 18. Does get a nine. Bean. Two massive kills there for Bean. Uh, Bean is still peeking here. Anke coming around the corner. Bean could get a very easy pick. Q9 has really whittled down Super Valiant Gaming. Bean Great again. shot there. Bean is now 7-1 so far. j gets M's in. And there's just the C4 carry left DBQ, but he is a monster when he wants to be. And now it's just DBQ here. He does have the bomb. Yeah, this is a solo. real Hail Mary play here, but no dice. He does get shot down. Solo was just hiding in the base spot with the heads down, making sure he doesn't get pegged by the by the crosser at all. Easy pickup from that moment on. B was never really challenged. SVG they have a, they had a lot of flash, but even with those flashes, they ended up not really using it uh, towards the A type, which is very questionable going into A site. Yeah, 98 gets M's in straight away, and that's first blood again for Q9 as Bean sets up in that spot one more time. And we see Super Valiant rotating over onto B Road. Okay, Super Valiant gaming now more towards the left here. Again, we've seen this before where they poke around uh, over into the uh, B site and then uh, collapse on A instead. But there's hardly anybody defending B, so if they get a good read on this, they could actually pop through here, play at B, and cover it very well. Mm -hmm. But because because Zhao Wei was able to do so well yesterday on this map alone in that position. Then Q9 realizing that doesn't really want to stretch too far. And just wait for the snow smoke to be gone, first of all, and then use few flash to go into the warehouse. Small engagement here over on the bridge. As we see, I think, yeah, 18 goes down to solo here. So that small engagement does end up punishing Super Valiant one more time. And it is a three versus five right now. Again, Super Valiant. Really in a tough spot. If anybody could get out of it, it would be them. They're going to have to go through the, the sights of Long here first. Good retraction. Smokes, uh, and he does not manage to hold that position for much longer. They will be caught in the crossfire here from both A and B site. They are going to try to nab the bomb over here at, at B. B is now uh, their area to try to claim here, but it's only one more player left. And again, Q9 with a victory now making this 4-1. Bean just caught the back end of that Super Valiant, like C4 pickup right there, and getting one down, and it was one versus four, I think, at that point, they had no chance whatsoever. And here we go, Joey gets one traded. They push through, two traded, back to back, 3v3 left. They want to push into that B side. They have a lot of time left. Yeah, and it's three versus three. B side is the place, but the stun, uh, the flash grenade there gets. Ooh. And 998 picks up another kill here. Super Valiant in trouble. Uh, too many different angles here from Bean and 1998. They are a deadly combo. They clean house. Is Q9 going to win 
on map number one. It is really looking like it. Super Valiant Gaming with only one game, and they barely won that one. Yeah, it seemed like the pressure from Q9, especially the early pressure with the smoke from Zhao Wei into that B tunnel, is actually giving a lot of pressure for SPG. They love to have early aggressive moments, even from GR or BL. It doesn't matter which side they're on. But SPG, they're just not showing... Uh, much of their color on this map so far, and they tried once on the B side, was totally stomped by Q9. So I have, I, uh, they're gonna, they're going to lose a lot of confidence going into either sides right now. I mean, Bean is just dominating this game right now. He's only died once. He is nine and one today. In the twilight of the first half of this uh, of this map. We're waiting to see if Super Valiant Gaming has any more strategies that allow them to claim a game here, whether that's through an all kill or through a bomb detonate. I mean, Bean once again holding this spot over on A, but we've seen how quickly he rotates over to B if that is where the push is. And I don't think Super Valiant have any idea where to go. How do you break this Q9 team apart? when they're just all individually playing so well. Yeah, Super Valiant, they can't really go up to the sideways because they keep on losing control against Zhao Wei. Another. Still in that passage. Oh, Zhao gets another kill, but it is going to be three versus three. 18 got Zhao Wei down. Super Valiant needs this game. They need a win. The C4 is still far back at home. Only 50 seconds left on the clock here. If Q9 can stall, they can absolutely win just on time alone. Yeah, 3v3, I think smarter choice to go into B, knowing that Bean is going to be all the way on top of A, a top. Never yeah. really failed. Yeah, that's really the only location you can fully defend this area from. We'll have an idea of who's coming from where. And unfortunately, oh. when you can fully cover it, that's when the sniper rifle can hit you. Very unlike Super Valiant, they're playing in a very different style compared to yesterday. They're losing a lot of their timing. The teamwork is not as up to par, as they had a lot of flash available to oh, Bean, Bean again. He rotated, he moved his position. There's a flash. And they just did not see that coming. Super Valiant. Oh. And it all walls have heard oh. of Bean! Wow. Half shot through the box, finished with the pistol. I love it. I absolutely love it. Bean is untouchable. And uh, now we just have, what, two more games? No, the, the, yeah, two more games on this side here. And. I don't know if Super Valiant can, can pull it together here. Yeah, this is all happening because of Zhao Wei just keeping, keep going into that tunnel. Can't really be stopped because that smoke keeps on coming out with a pretty good spawn from the Q9 side. As without the sideway covered by Super Valiant, Bean's just going to have a lot less pressure, easier time all the time well, from when, that A long control. Well, when one person like Bean is playing as well as he is right now, that whole A side is essentially defended just by him. And if you're Super Valiant, you don't even want to test him because he's playing so well, he's nailing every shot. That whole A can essentially be defended by one person. Okay, finally, SV moving into that side lane after checking that Zhao Wei has moved out towards that B side. Few perfect flashes can actually blind him totally. One Valiant player uh, 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 killed off here. But being changed position to the side of the box, not from the top this time. Yeah, good movement here. Uh, a is very covered. I'll be surprised if they can actually breach A, but we don't see any movement back towards B. Still time to move there if they need to. Yeah, Bean expects a flash to come out A top. Solo's going to cover him from the side. Uh, it looks like 18 and, and N9 are going to pop out at the same time, probably one hopping, one running, uh, as they're going to try to fill up space where not everybody can opt. And they're going to come through here just when he's not looking. This is an unfortunate position. Solo is going to have a hard time uh, controlling this, but good crossfire over here. From the side, Q9 with great play. Just on K left over through the smoke. He does not know where his opponents are. And that is going to be 7-1 to one here for Q9. Yeah, even as Bean goes down, Long picks up the slack. That is what you need in a team. One person goes down. Everyone else is there just to punish Super Valiant Gaming. Q9 are playing the most flawless crossfire today. It's just unbelievable. Bean again picks up another kill, but does go down. Yeah, but a pretty good flash comes out to respond to two. Now back into 3v3 situation. Solo in a pretty good base spot. N9, can he take him down? Q9 could be in trouble here. Spray goes down here from Long. It's just JY. Can he have the Hail Mary play? He's coming around the corner. And we have, oh my Gets god. Gets two. 
nearly takes out the entire team. Finally, but also barely, Super Valiant Gaming wins their second um, match on map one here. Now again, it's two to seven here. The tension is palpable here in the studio. Super Valiant Gaming knows they need to play not as well, but even better than Q9 did as they swap sides here and go to the defender spot. I wonder how aggressive Super Valiant would actually be from the GR side. Q9, they kept well under control that B side. The tunnel was totally controlled by by Zhao Wei the entire first half. So Super Valiant couldn't really push into the side way at the beginning. They lost a good 30 seconds all the, every single round because of that early play. So we'll see how the teams adapt to the swapped positions. And we already see Q9 making a pretty aggressive push over into A. They're down that A corridor. A long is already there. It's now an A short. 98 gets 18, but Anka takes down B. Jayway with a kill here on MZ. Jayway with a kill on Anka. Jayway is an absolute animal, but TBQ does manage to take him down. Q9, it's close. It could be Super Valiant that comes through here. 1998 at about 50% HP. DBQ now rotating around. There are scopes on all sides here. Bomb is planted. Super Valiant Gaming, a lot of pressure here. Nade does damage N9. 1998. Oh, we missed it, but it was a kill here. And Q9 keeps the momentum going. They are just inches away from closing this game out. They're expecting the backup to come from the bridge. 1998 actually didn't go on top. He could have just jumped up top, collapsed up one member and just got that 1-1 one, one trade, but instead he waited for the footsteps and then got both of those kills easily done. Q9 with such a lead and momentum in this match right now. Yeah, and it looks like they're gonna try exactly the same thing again. Ooh, ho, ho, ho. Super Valiant, great shot there by Minzen. JY is out of the picture, Q9 with 1% health left. We're gonna have to see some pretty creative play, but again, Super Valiant, this is the play they need. Yeah, and that death was big for SV. Q9, their whole position completely changed as one member goes uh, down. I like the game plan here. Uh, 98 only has one HP, but if he can poke out and get a good sniper shot, he can get a kill and even this out. It's a very smart move. They're going to be patient. They're probably going to run the, the clock a little bit here. But I, I, I think the ideas are there. There's no reason to try to run around with an AK when you're going to die to the spray no matter what. If you can get the click off before they can, you get a kill, maybe it's evened out. Yeah, I think that's pretty much the idea. Would love to actually have the, him poking out to a long challenge into MZ if he can actually get that shot done. We're into the loading dock. And we can see already the bullets start flying. Bean gets a kill. Long gets anchor. 98 gets N9. Whoa. And this is completely turned on its head. When that uh, uh, sniper shot missed there, they were able to breach that location. The bomb's being planted, and we have players on all sides here. 18 getting low. He is taking out DBQ. And can he get the Hail Mary play here? He gets a kill solo down here waiting. Because he has a T4 and needs to wait for 98, but he is Ooh. also so low. 33 seconds on the clock. Hardly any hit points in this game. DBQ, he could try to defuse up here. It's not he, has, he has to go for it. What a flick down the stairs with one HP. Unreal. That was just incredible. It's now nine to two. One more win here from Q9, and he, or excuse me, excuse me, they will uh, be the victors here on our best of three for map one. He, he didn't go for the C4. That was dropped right below the site. That flick was just an amazing shot. I mean, the guy had no hit points for 98% of that game. As soon as J-Way went down, you saw that 98 hit points were on one, and he survived until the end and got the clutch kill. I think he got two kills in that round. That's yep. absolutely nuts for someone with no HP. Yeah, when there was a big rush into the A side, also cut one of the members, I believe, uh, nine, uh, N9, trying to back up from the bridge. 98 kept in control, also bought, bought good amount of aggro all the way from the back from the BL side. Now, Super Valiant Gaming need everything. They need all the rounds possible to get up to that number nine. Super Valiant Gaming, how will they play this? Uh, Q9, I mean, I, I will say this has been closer on this side. It's been very few games, but 
Super Valiant, they're just always one or two men too short here. Yep, boosted up towards the sideways, so less of a control for Q9. Oh yeah, my god! Immediate open for the doors of B-side can be done, but because of the smoke, they can't really go in right now. That was a blind shot through there. They've already taken out DBQ. And now 18's gonna have to come through here, but they just do the flood. And now it's Jowie. two. Now it's two players coming through. Um, and they're gonna try to do the plant. Super Valiant Gaming is going to have a hard time closing in on this. Long here in the back. Anke trying to fire through. 98 again onto Emzen. Anke takes down Long, but it's one versus what three. He's got no chance, surely. He's flashed. He's through the smoke. He, can, he only has 43 HP. What can he do against the C4 and the three members of Q9? And that is it for game one. It's not over yet, though. Super Valiant Gaming could come back with a two. Uh, two victories in a row after that. But I got to say, Q9 won, but more than that, they dominated. Yeah, I mean, everyone was saying that, like, Super Valiant, they're the strongest Chinese team. They're the team to watch out for. When we saw them yesterday, it was Super Valiant versus Black Giants. That's the finals right there. That's what we're going to get is a rehearsal for that. Q9 are like, all right, guys, you can say as much as you want. You can say that it's going to be their final, but it's our final. We're going to show them up on stage at port and make a huge statement as we go into Black Widow. It's very clear how frustrated Q9 is right now. I mean, they are just not able to produce the results they want. They're getting close. Um, but yeah, when you look at the Super Valiant Gaming, again, they came in here as the favorite Q9 crushing. Yeah, the frustration's real. Yeah, Super Valiant, I don't think they have really much of what they wanted to be wanted to do done in that first map. Q9 knew exactly how to win, how to control the map against Super Valiant in that first map port. And it all started with the it's being an invincible force towards that A top. Yeah, Q9 have played a lot of games on port, but this tournament so far for Super Valiant, that was their first of the tournament. So they have played a lot more Black Widow, I believe. Oh, they played one game on Black Widow, and that was against Lazarus Game. So we're going to have to see if that is going to help them out as we go into the next map. But, I mean, right now, Jayway Bean 98, they are playing phenomenally. And not only that, then you got Long and Solo, who are helping to bring up the rear of the team. Everyone is having standout individual performances on Q9, whereas on SV, I mean, we're looking at maybe DBQ, 18 somewhat and 9 is having an okay time but it's really rough on that side like no one is having the amazing performance we expected that's right um what happens on black widow all i can say is i hope that super valley gaming can bring this to a 1-1 because q9 again in every aspect they were bigger better faster stronger Yep, Super Valiant for Super Valiant, Black Widow is certainly a map for them to sweep a lot easier. This the rotation for Super Valiant works out so much better on this bigger map compared to Port. As we have mentioned before going into the first map, Q9 might be struggling against the power or against the rotation, but certainly so far Q9 has been showing up a lot more in terms of skill. Our game is now loading up. It'll be Q9 on the defense, Super Valiant Gaming on the offense. And we're going to have a very good idea in the next few rounds on map number two, Black Widow, how this is going to go. We need to see better play here from Super Valiant Gaming, or it's going to be Q9 going on in the finals against one of two Brazilian teams. And it's already a very aggressive defense on Q9. 98 takes down 18. DBQ gets solo. But there's still quite a lot going on over at B, and this is a very quick push into that B site. You can see all four players now going to try to push through the top here. The B side totally open, and Q9 used a lot of wood. Instant retake even before that C4. And I don't know if this is going to be too good for Minson here yet. Game one goes to Q9. You can just see uh, uh, Super Valiant Gaming not, not able to plant in time, uh, and also not a sweep, not attacking from two different sides. Instead, they go for the flood technique. They all pop through, some hopping, some running, and they can spray down the limited number of Super Valiant Gaming players. This time around, will we have the same degree of aggression? I'm not totally sure, but I'm seeing a lot of movement over here towards B once more. Yeah, once more, lambs to slaughter. I feel Q9 just have a perfect control. 
every time this happens, every time there is that flood through a door, Q9 are just gunning for it. They just slaughter everything. It's a huge meat grinder. And everyone is already flashed up inside that little box there inside storage. Yeah, really nice flash into storage. Gets one down, but they waited for the right time. 98 still standing at the box. Jayway coming in to help. Unreal 98 find enough time here. It looks like Q9 could possibly push through. It is now a 1v2 here. Vincent, not with full HP. He's going to have to get pretty creative if he wants to win here. Rotation into the AK. I got 99, 98 here with a clutch play, holding the box, buying time for his teammates. And that is it. Bean closes it out. 2-0 for Q9. Yeah, that new box with the patch, you can you can just stay there forever unless uh, an opponent can actually, has to come around the box or on top of the box to get you down. Just staying in that same position gives a lot of pressure oh. for the opponent to come in. And Bean picks up an early snipe onto 18 and that is massively damaging on the side of Super Valiant because he is an important player. But Bean again is 3-0. Yeah, Bean just had the perfect timing shot. Can't release. Really even if you see the opponent, sometimes you can't really react, even for the pros. Just had the perfect shot landing on the body. Once again, one player bled out here. 4v5. Advantage Q9. Uh, ambiguity as far as what the plans are for Super Valiant Gaming. They may want to try to run the clock. Although I don't think Q9 is going to overextend here. I think they're just waiting. They are an impenetrable fortress right now. The bomb has been uh, snagged over here. And we have some attention, some gunfights over here in mid. And that means another Super Valiant Gaming player bites the dust here. But it was a trade, 3v4. But look at the rotations on the side of Q9. As soon as that started to kick off, everyone moved over. Solo and Beam were right there in that center. But now look at this, Solo gets it. Long gets one, Solo gets another. Super Valiant are collapsing right now. Yeah, Solo's rotation through the passage was real quick, knowing that it has to be an attack through that A short. Instead of going down the bridge, he went all the way up. The momentum that Super Valiant Gaming had was incredible, and how quickly it stopped here by Q9 is even more impressive. Oh, no. J-Way gets a double, but N9 gets the kill onto Bean. Bean has been a rock, but 98 is still up. But the C4 is all the way down in the loading dock. Q9 right now shouting that the C4 is all the way down. We just have to control the A site. It's two versus one. 98 does finally drop, but Long gets 18. And we have two on the side of Q9 against one of Super Valiant Gaming. If there was a game that they would need to win, it's this one here for Super Valiant Gaming. It's not going to be easy. Clearly, a, a 1v2 is a disadvantage, mm -hmm. but it's possible. It will require perfect reactions and instinct here. Oh, and the last member is N9. He can certainly deliver the shots. Help. Oftentimes has an opening headshot going into the side. Does takes get. one down. Yeah, and J-Way is very, very low. N9 still has everything at his disposal. J-Way is going to try to creep around this yeah. corner. Yeah, and a lot of time. One minute when you left. N9 just ducks down at the perfect time. Gets that headshot. 1v2. Clutch play there. A much needed win, but that is just one step in many to get to the end here where they could possibly win. Q9 here still with a great lead and overall looking like a stronger team. Yeah, but it is one step in the right direction for once for Super Valiant Gaming. We have to see how Q9 adapts to these changes though because Super Valiant are being a lot more passive aggressive, I would say. They're finding the way, but look at this long instantly gets one. Almost gets to, but J-Way goes down, and now it is four versus three. Over here at A short, are they going to come through? As he rotates, he ends up giving them the lead there. They do come through. Q9 here going to try to defend the bomb. Not yet planted just yet. Yeah, 2v3, it's not too hard, actually, because a lot of their members are low, but Solo goes down immediately. 98, 1v1 now. He's going to go behind the box. Oh! He gets the kill. That was insane. The defuse goes down. Clutch 1v3 by 1998. The man is godlike right now. That, he, how do you stop him? He's doing so much work. He's 8-1, and one, and every time it comes down to him, he produces the goods. He's blindsiding the team, and he knows exactly when he's running out of bullets, where to hide, where to reload, where to take cover, where to swap to the pistol. He is the complete package as far as a crossfire pro goes. Now we wait.
Super Valiant Gaming in round six here has yet to really make a, a, a major victory. The one that they got off was uh, after winning a 1v1 duel, barely. Uh, Q9 seems to have better map control. They seem to know when and where Super Valiant Gaming is going to strike. And even when they're out of position, they regain that position very quickly. We see J-Way very aggressive positioning down in the access road, but immediately pulls back with Long and they go to kind of just sit around A a little bit longer. So it's a B and A split, but J-Way once again finds himself in an incredibly aggressive position as he will soon be facing four members of Super Valiant Gaming. Yeah, with Boosted member up from dropping down from the box, which is very hard to aim at the same time. Keep messing up their stack there. Um, now it's a 4v3. J-Way got two before dropping solo, gets 18. And the bullets just keep flying, and each time Q9 fires one, it feels like it's going to hit, but Long goes down. Every time there's an engage, Q9 comes out on top. C4 rotating back, but they're already checking mid, Q9 is, as well as a possible meeting over here not far from the spawn site at the south. Yeah, 1998 is all alone in enemy territory, but you do not expect him to be where he is. He's in the, he's in the spawn point. Yeah, this is a great play. Uh, as the C4 is quietly couriered over to this location, they could end up just getting shot down here. 98 is ready, and that is a great play. And he does take them down. 1998, the Ninja moves into that location, gets the kill with stealth play, and this is going into game around number seven here. Insanity, complete insanity. This is a slaughter right now. Q9 showing who is the best in China. It might not have been them all year long, but right now they are number one. Super Valiant Gaming is having to have the fight of their life, and they are losing that fight as Q9 continues to crush. Now, we have a setup to invade over here through the warehouse mm -hmm. into, the, into the B bomb site. There's decent coverage here, but if they actually spill through and could take out the two players defending that, um, it, it is manageable. 1998 is very good at covering, though, behind the box. So this is smoked, the first kill, and 98, hold on. He's taking cover. He's killed off. 18 getting two kills here. N9 gets one, so 98 is down. Jewe is down. Those are the two biggest hitters, but we still have Bean and Long available on Q9 but it is a two versus four. Yeah, they know that Bean's all the way into the B passage, and Long does come in for cover from that double door towards the B side, but still against this many men, it might not be good. Nice idea there, but it's a 1v2. Can Bean do it? He's done it before. His teammates thinned out uh, Super Valiant Gaming pretty well. Not easy to do with a sniper rifle, though. Yeah, he knows that once from the storage one in that bomb site. Now, they're going to be on opposite sides, so it's very difficult to pick off one without being shot from behind. 26 seconds left on the bomb. Yeah, that kill zone is real nice for Super Valiant Gaming. They just have him completely covered, but he does get 100 HP. Ducking under here. Oh, oh, but he ended up out positioning himself. He took cover under there, hoping that he would that uh, it would look like he had actually gone back through the door. But then when he pops up, his sight was in the wrong spot. I mean, even when. Super Valiant win, it still looks as though Q9 are going to take it until the very last second, but a missed shot there. Bean does manage to take 18 with him, though. At least one one trade that's not as bad as how it looked like with the first bullet missing there. Yeah, the pistol shot actually managed to make up for it. Uh, now it's a 4v4. Pretty clear that uh, sights are set right now on the B site. They're staying back here. Loving the immediate read from Q9 after having one B site open and penetrated by SV. Immediately switching over into that storage with a double angle. Unreal. Perfectly. Just unreal. Uh, 4v2 now. DBQ though clutching it. 98 and long. Are they gonna put are they gonna try to go for it? Through the door. Nice kill. Yeah, but Emzing goes down as well, and it is a two versus one. Jwe is low. 1998 is there, but by God, 1998. Gets another kill. He should not have been swapping into his pistol at that moment. It was, uh, a, you know, it's funny. It takes almost no time, but in that moment, the bullets hit you and the game is done. Uh, two to six right now. We are going into the ninth game on this side before we switch sides. And this is mirroring what we already had happen here in game one. 
Yeah, SV peeks out into that A long again. Sees that many smokes out in that A long spread by Q9 and then immediately backs off, not knowing exactly what's happening over to the waterway because there has been some moments, not too many, but Q9 stretching out into waterway and going for those bait positions. We can see right now that short is covered by, I think, Long and Jway. We're still waiting for Super Valiant Gaming to move here. Every win is precious right now. Q9 wants to close it out. Super Valiant Gaming wants to catch up. As we see our players inch in, uh, it looks like they're going to try to feign pressure over here to A and then uh, pounce upon B. And it's and working. It, 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 you're right, it does look like it's working here. Uh, now they are hemorrhaging players on the other side of the map to do this, but the position now has been gained. Can they keep it though? Jayway and Bean Solo picks up another kill. Oh. Jayway gets one more. Q9 is winning everywhere around the map. Just with the C4, oh. MZ goes down, and that's going to be 7 2 2 to finish off the first half. Q9 excels everywhere. They don't know how to be baited because they keep winning. Q9 knows the end is in sight. They just need to close it out. Um, I got to say, I'm a little bit shocked at the one sidedness here. Not yeah. only the one-sidedness, but the team that's winning was the one I thought, if it had to be one-sided, it would be Q9 losing. Yeah, it's absolutely insane that Super Valiant Gaming, the team that we thought were going to be doing well, the team that beat Black Dragons, the team that came here as the first seed from China, is getting absolutely clowned on by Q9. Now we go to game number two here. I'm sorry, uh, side number two here. And we're going to see how this is handled. It is going to be Q9 that needs to invade here, but they only need to win three times. That's not that's not a lot. Yeah, from the BL, from Black Widow, it's certainly one of the harder maps to break through from the Blacklist side, but for the momentum and the aggressive mo movements that we had from Q9, I think it's certainly doable in the second half. Uh, Super Valiant Gaming, they should have the pressure of defending this the entire second half near perfectly. Yeah, Bean getting those angles all the way down a long, but Emzin is kind of in a, a slightly different position. He has a much smaller angle on A. He only has eyes on the entrance, but calls are being made. Players have seen each other. The flash is down. Q9 backs up again here. A few shots traded here, but it's still anybody's game so far. They do seem to be tempted to take A over here. There's only one player covering A as well. As It seems almost as though Super Valiant has a read that this is going to be a rush through A short. It is not. And they are primed to try to invade in over here. Okay, one four spread. Solo peeks out to the B side, pretending it's a B attack. MZ alone in that A side. But Solo Might gets just be one. dominated with the four men. I'm worried Super Valiant Gaming has been completely sucker here. Way too late. Looking into A long, doesn't but, really know. They didn't catch Emson on the back. He gets two, but he is taken down by Bean. And now it's all even out. It's three versus three, but SV are very low. Super stealthy play there to hide behind the truck and wait it out. They did manage to stabilize themselves. It's a 2v3 though right now. Now a 3v1. And N9 is going to get hit from behind here if he doesn't go super fast. There is one player coming here. Yeah, Solo is on the hunt. Jayway, he turns around, but doesn't matter. Solo takes N9 down. Two more to go. Look at the faces of Super Valiant Gaming. The tension is real. The loss is palatable. Yeah, every single loss in the second half will be crucial. If they lose two more, that is it. They are dropped from the tournament. And Bean now coming here through Ooh, mid. He is actually going to get uh, flanked here if he's not careful. He is picked off. N9 takes out Bean. That's a massive kill this early on in that kind of position. N9 now is very aggressive on that A side road. Even DBQ peeks out the double doors. Oh, Jayway does win that duel, though. That's huge for Q9 to come back in the round. C4 push being made through the stairs into a short towards the bridge. Ali is the next position and we'll see. 98 gets N9. And just like that, things have turned back around. And uh, it looks like Q9 going to take a big advantage here. Right now, Q9. The bomb shuffling over towards B. 
But far in the back, Super Valiant Gaming strained. Not that many players to cover many points of access here. It does seem like we could have a gunfight right here over by uh, by storage. Yeah, Q9 already smoking out that B, B box side. Anke and Chita push. Now they know that they could be neglecting the A site, and that does look like that's the, going to be the point of uh, tension here as A site is now being pushed quietly and swiftly here by Q9. Yeah, Nemzen is all alone again in the exact same position he was last time, but he has fired. He's revealed his position, and we see instant aggression on the side of Q9. They are hunting for Emzen before the rest can come in. Emzen gets one, but solo and 98 get Anka and Emzen, and that's it. Another win to the side of Q9. Q9 is one win away from going on to the finals. The frustration here from Super Valiant Gaming is just too real as they came in here looking so strong, so dominant, and now Q9 is just altering the course of history. Yeah, Q9 on a match point, certainly, and they are looking to dominate Super Valiant Gaming. They don't want to let go without having their best play. Still dominating over that A long, but get, got nothing done. As Jayway wanted to stretch through a little bit further, but saw the smoke, stopped himself from reaching out for, to, into the danger zone. Oh, Emzen gets Bean. That's a saving shot. Quiet moment here on the map. Very deftly, Q9 is moving slowly towards A long. And we actually have a pretty uh, heavy sweep here in mid. But A is completely neglected. And this is one of the best ways to lose the entire game here from Super Valiant. Now, they are coming back. They are looking. This area is not smoked. And but I they do retract backwards. They've been picked off, though. It's now a 3v5. Yeah, Long goes down, and they instantly abandon the plan of going to A because it's already been scouted. But the C4 is in a very aggressive position. Whoever's holding that is going at it. 1998! It, it had to be 1998, didn't it? He is on an absolute tear. 18 and 9 down. Anka gets solo. Jerry gets Anka. And it's a two versus two. The two best men from Q9 about to deliver the final round to two, two, two to two. Could be anybody's game here. Pressure in mid. One player here with the C4. Right now, uh, it's going to be up to DBQ and Minzen to keep themselves in this part of the tournament. 98 here, one of the best players in our entire Crossfire Grand Finals, is on the move. He's got the bomb. Can Super Valiant Gaming stop him? He is very, very low coming into DBQ mm -hmm. and Minzen, but he's kind of juked him out. Both are ready for him to move over to B, but he's moving right through into A. Yeah, because he's so low, he wanted to get go against the sniper first, but he's knowing that he's low, and Zin goes around the corner, pistols, misses! Oh my god, talk about a moment to miss here, when everything's on the line. 18 seconds. He's been scouted, and, and he's down, DBQ gets the win. Super Valiant Gaming lives a little bit longer. Q9 anxious to wrap this up and go to the finals. It would be huge for them. They would be sending Super Valiant down into that third, fourth place match. But a very aggressive position from N9. Now look at where he is. He wraps around the back, but is immediately punished by Long. Way too ambitious there from Super Valiant. N9 already out of the game. It's going to be his four teammates that are going to have to win this one from here on out. Very interesting spread here from Q9. We may have a poke here through mid. Keep in mind that there's one sniper rifle. If he comes through that scope, he could be killed, but he's going to be so close to where that scope is, it could be missed as well. Oh, DBQ with a sniper now. He wanted to get that perfect backup push after pushing it into the doors. Now let's see what that action, that change will bring for Super Valiant. This might just be it with Q9 starting to stretch into that A long. Emzin has actually oh switched God. position into that mid double doors. Oh man, this is a huge. Oh um, man, the rotation is totally wrong. Yeah, he, he just kind of gave them that spot. This should be an easy C4 plant. 4v2 here. The plant is good. That's a nice move away there by Jayway. He is in the middle of nowhere. He's pulling everyone back. DBQ does get him, but it's still a three versus two situation. Yeah, DBQ goes back in, into that rifle to be three. Bean with that AWM has the line of sight towards that A short from the box on that A site. Smoked up. Bean goes down. Taking out Bean. 18 moving through here. Not that much time on the clock, though. Only 10 seconds. They need to defuse. No one behind there. He is uh, not yet picked off. Long Five. comes around from the corner, takes one down, but not enough time to defuse now. That's it. That's it. The bomb's going to go off, and that's the end of this series with a good save. Look at Q9. They are our first.